You've got a logo, it's a 2D vector. You want to change it from 2D to 3D and give it some of that 3D goodness. Well, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how. Okay, so we're in Adobe Illustrator. We've got a very recognizable logo in the center of the canvas. So what we need to do is save this in a file format that's supported by Cinema 4D. Fortunately for us, that's really easy. All we've got to do is go up to File, Save As. We're going to save it as an Adobe Illustrator file. Click Save. Now the next dialog box that pops up is the important one. We need to change the version to Adobe Illustrator 8. Click on that, click OK, click OK again. And then we're going to jump into Cinema 4D, click File, Merge. We're going to locate the Illustrator file that we've just saved, click Open, click OK. And here if we zoom out a bit we can see that we've got uh, the spline paths based on the uh, Illustrator file that we've just imported. Now it doesn't look much like a 3D logo right now, but again, that's very easy to fix. We're going to appear to the extrude tool, click on that. We're going to drag the very recognizable logo into the extrude, uh, make it a child of the extrude. And there you go, it's going to add a lot of depth to the, <laughs> the Z depth is a bit extreme. So what we're going to do is click on object, uh, it's currently set to 20 centimeters. If we set that to something like 5, looks a bit more reserved um, but if you want to finesse this a little bit more um, if we click on the caps tab and I'm going to show you what this does now so the start cap is the uh, the front of the logo so if you click none it's actually going to remove that uh, front face of the logo and if we do the end it's also going to do the same thing so it's actually it's going to remove both the front and the back caps but let's reinstate those but for the start cap, let's change it from cap to fillet cap. Now it looks a bit ugly now, because again, it's gone a bit extreme, but we're gonna change the radius from five centimeters, change it to 0.1. Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna give it a bit more of a beveled edge. Now if we zoom in a little bit here, I don't know if you can see this, let's turn on the lines. So yeah, we've got this little bit of a bevel here, but if we want to add a bit more information to it, a bit more geometry, we're going to go here to the steps and change it from 1 to 2, 3, 4 and 5. And you can see it's added more geometry, more rounding, we just render this really quickly. You can see there's a lot more rounding to the front of the logo. So last thing to do is, if you're happy with it how it is, you just want to um, double click down here to create a native Cinema 4D uh, texture. Drag that onto the logo. Hit render and there you go, you've got your 3D logo uh, imported from Adobe Illustrator in Cinema 4D. If you found this useful, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't, you're more than welcome to give it a thumbs down. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more tutorials and if you do, I will see you in the next one.